Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Ariel and I am the owner of Arabia Sticker Shop. Today I'm going to be showing you some new stationery goodies that I picked up from Wonder Pens, which is a local to me fountain pen store. They have a bunch of cool stationery. So I bought a few fountain pens that I want to show you as well as an ink, so why don't we get started? So the first fountain pen that I picked up is one from Quebeco. As you can see here, it is one of their limited edition colors. I believe that this is from the 2021 Spring Collection, and I chose the color Light Lavender because look how gorgeous this box is. I'm going to unbox it for you right now. So you can see how pretty this color is. I think I'm going to really, really like it. Oh, so cute. Um, so this is my first Quebeco pen. Um, and I decided to go for a sport. Oh my gosh, this pen is so cute. So this is what the Caveco looks like in the light lavender color. It is so small and really cute. The hardware on it is silver, as you can see. I am planning, however, to get the uh, clips that go on these, by the way. When I made this order, it wasn't in stock um, on the Wonder Pens website, so I'm going to have to go back um, a little bit later and... Uh, get that, but look at how cute and tiny this pen is. I think it will be the perfect size when um, I post the cap. This pen feels a lot lighter than a lot of the other fountain pens that I do own. I own a few Platinums, uh, I own a few Lamys, but this one just feels a lot lighter, which is probably why it's a very good pocket pen. When I hold it like this, when it's posted, it still feels pretty light and comfortable in my hand. I really like the nib of this, by the way. I did get a fine nib, so I'm excited to try it out. I don't think it will be too scratchy. Inside this pen, it does come with a cartridge, which is what I'm going to be inking it up with. But look at how cute and small this is. So this is a blue ink, so I'm going to insert that into my pen uh, a little bit later. But I did also purchase a few converters as well. I know I'm going to get a few comments about these converters because uh, they are slightly controversial. However, I don't mind and I bought two of them because I know I'm going to buy a few more of these in pretty colors. Uh, so this is the Caveco um, converter and this is just for the sport. Uh, but it is an 80, 80 bitty um, like piston converter. The reason why this is a little bit controversial is because it does hold less ink than the cartridges, so it does make more sense to uh, just fill up these cartridges when you are done, which is also probably what I'm going to be doing. Um, however, I am planning on buying a few more of these Covecos in fun colors, so I just wanted to be able to have the option uh, to use these cartridges and then use converters at the same time. So I bought two of these converters but I'm going to be saving them both for now because I do want to ink up uh, this Caveco right now with the cartridge that comes with it. So am I going to be brave and do this on camera? Why not? So I'm just going to stick it in here and then give it a light push until I can feel it. And then I'm just gonna hold it down for a little bit screw that up. Let me screw that up first and then fix this so I'll be able to test it. So this is my Hobonichi Day Free by the way so I'm just going to test it in here first. So that is what the ink looks like. It is just a really nice blue and I do like the nib size of this. Uh, I think the other fountain pens that I'm thinking about getting are currently available in medium nibs. So I wanted to be able to buy at least one of these in a fine nib so I'll be able to um, test out a few different kinds. I really like that. I'm happy that I got it. And this color is so cute as well. I think it'll look very nice in both this um, Hobonichi cover just tucked in here into the pen loop. Hold on. Like I said, I am planning on purchasing a few of the Caveco clips as well, so I'll be able to clip them onto my pen loops so they're not flying around everywhere. Uh, but I'm very happy with this Caveco purchase. It's my very first sport, and I think it's super cute. So, now that I'm done with this one, I will put it here and show you guys the other fountain pen that I got. This one I am super excited about uh, because I've been wanting it for a long time, and I finally allowed myself to write. 
So as you can tell from this packaging, I did purchase a Twisby Eco or Echo as well. I decided to finally purchase this for myself and I have zero regrets. So I purchased again in the fine nib. I already um, opened this by the way. So I got the fine nib and I got the white color with the silver hardware. So you open it up, there are a bunch of directions in here. So um, I really like these just in case you need a little bit of a reminder. There's also um, written instructions on the back here, but there are a ton of diagrams. I don't think I'm going to be filling my pen on camera. I'll probably fill it and then come back uh, just so I don't mess up this table because sometimes I can get a little bit clumsy. The only reason why I filled that one up was because it's relatively easy and I am very comfortable with cartridges. But look at this gorgeous pen. So like I said, I got it in the white color and the silver hardware. Uh, this is just a reminder that you cannot uh, use alcohol in this because you will ruin your pen. Some more instructions here as well on how to clean uh, your fountain pen and disassemble it. Here's also how to fill it. Um, also I wanted to mention that in this package you do get a wrench here so it's either plastic or metal. This one is plastic. Uh, and you use it when you are unscrewing your pen to disassemble it, to clean it. Uh, there are a ton of videos online um, on how to do that, so I won't be doing it in this video. But I just wanted to share that with you guys in case this is your first time um, watching something like this. This little bottle is um, silicone grease, so you use it to lubricate um, the piston part of your pen when you're cleaning it. I think it's nice that they also put it in here. I think Twisby uh, does a very good job of educating um, fountain pen users on how to clean and properly take care of their pens. So let me show you what this fountain pen looks like. Oh, it's really cute. So this is my very first uh, Twisby pen as well. <laughs> this is quite a thick pen, so let's see if it fits here in my Hobonichi pen loop. Of course it does because these are massive. Let me just open it and see what it looks like. So this is a twist uh, fountain pen, which is different from the ones that I have. This one's also a twist. I really, really like the nib on this. I think it's super pretty. I think this is my very first piston pen. Um, I do have piston converters that I've been using, so I'm familiar with how to use them. But yeah, this is definitely my very first piston pen. I'm excited to use it. The reason why I wanted to get this pen was because the ink capacity is quite large, so I'll be able to use it for a very long time. I feel like I've been refilling a lot of my other fountain pens pretty quickly, so um, I wanted to test this out. Where are my other ones? Uh, I just wanted to bring in a few of my other pens to sort of compare. Okay, so this Twisby is quite a lot heavier than all of the other fountain pens. Oh, this one is also pretty heavy. Uh, Lammies are pretty light because these ones are all plastic pens, uh, but I just wanted to show you size-wise with the Caveco because the Caveco is itty bitty and tiny, but all the rest of my fountain pens are around um, the same size. Yeah, I definitely think that this Twisby is a little bit more heavy. So those are the two fountain pens that I purchased. I'm very excited to ink this one up and I did buy an ink for it so let me show you this now. Uh, so this is a gorgeous ink um, that I also purchased from Wonder Pens but the brand is Ferris Wheel Press. I really wanted to pick up this color. I know it is limited edition as well. So this is the Lady Rose in Gold 2021 limited edition. I am so excited about this color. It is definitely a me color and look at how gorgeous the packaging is by the way. This packaging just looks so luxurious and so pretty. It makes me want to collect all of the bottles, which I might do, by the way. Um, something that I really like about this brand as well is that they are Canadian. Actually, their headquarters is not uh, that far from me as well. So that is super cool. Ferris Wheel Press is from Toronto. And uh, that means I'm going to be buying a lot of their bottles. I'm going to be inking up this uh, Twisby uh, with this as well. I think the shimmer in here is quite fine, so it'll be able to work well with my fine nib Twisby. 
Okay, you guys, I did it. I'm back. I filled up my Twisby and it was super easy, just like how I normally do with my um, other fountain pens with piston converters. Uh, I filled up a lot of ink. <laughs> Actually, I didn't mean to put too much. Uh, as you can see, quite a lot, or maybe you can't really see. Um, I'm probably about this much now in the bottle. Uh, so I use quite a bit, uh, but now I'm going to test it out. So I'm going to bring back my Hobonichi. I really like the cap on this bottle, by the way. I think it looks super cute. Okay, so... Let's try it out. Okay, you guys, I just zoomed in a little bit so you will be able to see my swatches a little bit better. I think this ink is so gorgeous. It's a little bit more, it looks a little bit more browny to me uh, than a rose color, but you can definitely still see the gold. For sure, if I get a medium nib, I think you'll be able to see it a lot more. There are a few more Ferris wheel press colors that I do want to purchase, um, including a few more shimmery ones, and one to also put into um, this Caveco when I'm done that cartridge. Uh, so I already have this planned. <laughs> You can kind of see in the beginning where I started writing, uh, it was mainly the Lady Rose color and then s slowly as I uh, started writing a little bit more, you can see a little bit more of the shimmer. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that very well on camera, but I think it's really cute. There was another color that I really wanted to get, I think it's called Cream of Earl. Uh, I think that color is so beautiful, it's sort of like a dusty brownie color. Uh, but I think it might be a little bit too light for me, so that's why I'm happy that I got this. This is sort of like a more neutrally brownie as well. Um, but you can see a little bit of the rosy undertone coming out through the shimmer. So I'm now going to be using this fountain pen in some of my Hobonichis and I'm very excited. This feels pretty good posted as well. Uh, it's not too um, heavy for me, so, so I'm just going to continue using this, and yeah, I guess we'll see where this road takes me. I will say, though, I was expecting something a little bit more pinky like this, uh, whereas this one is a little bit more brown, but we shall see uh, as I continue to use this if it changes a little bit, so I will update you on that. So those are all of the things that I picked up from Wonder Pens. I'm very happy, especially because they are a local um, store as well. Also, it's really cool that Ferris Wheel Press is also from Toronto, so I will be supporting uh, more of their things in the future. I'm going to have a full collection of all of their ink soon. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will update you guys if anything uh, changes with the behavior of these inks or pens. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!